Wagwan, hi guys. Well, it's about time we make an instrumental from the very simple elements around us. We are going to make a dancehall beat using uh, basics, I mean the elements around here. As, as you can see, I have a, a Sprite uh, soda bottle, I have a, a glass here, and I have a, and I have some water in this cup, and uh, my keys. And uh, for the melodies, we are going to create it using the whistle, the whistle like <laughs> something like that. So, uh, step one, we are going to get the melody. Uh, I don't really have one, but I think we can guess. We can just cook up something. So I'm going to record the my whistling voice into the mic. Of course, uh according to the BPM of the beat, which is uh, 98 in this case. Uh, let me just put on the headphones so that I can be as accurate as possible. So, uh, here we go. Okay, guys, I'm not so good at whistling, but we can try another one down here. <laughs> Let's hear what we have here uh, on the machine. Uh huh. And now, having recorded the whistle, as you've heard, um, I'm going to take my pen and uh, hit the, you know, the, the neck of the bottle as I record it in, of course, in the tempo, in the BPM of the beat. So, uh -huh, this is how we do this one. Uh, we're going to record it. Sorry, I think I've missed the tempo. Let me just put the metronome on. Uh, here we go again. Yeah, and we're done. You can hear what we've recorded. Then I'm going to record the sound produced when I rub uh, this glass against the bottle. I want to make a sound, I want to create a sound or a, an idea that a bottle is being opened, you know, and then the drink flows into the cup. So what I'm going to do is simply rub these two and then get this water and pour it here. It's like someone is opening the bottle, a beer bottle and then pouring the beer on the glass so check out how i'm going to do this this is very simple i'm using what i have here so here we go now okay okay simple and then of course we can listen to what we have created now
Yes, and after that, uh, so we are going to create the the sound, you know, of water flowing from a beer bottle to the glass. So what we'll do is transfer this water to my Sprite bottle. Oops. And then I'm going to simply pour it from this one to this one. So I want to record that sound. What do we do? We simply go back to the mic. Check how I'm doing this one. I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. You need to be real fast with this one. Let's go again. Yeah. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> I guess we have it. So now you can listen to the recording. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Then after that, I want to get the, I've, I've taken my keys, I want to hit them on the glass that has water. So uh, there is a specific hi-hat pattern for dancehall that I want to try and emulate. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So what I'll do is I'll mute the sound, of course, and get back on the mic. And... Uh, Record it. Try to be as accurate as possible. Let's hear what I came up with. In a minute. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I like it, do you? And now from there I'm going to add uh, uh, a synth from the keyboard. Ah, here we go now, record it. Play what we have now. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's what we have as of now. We should be thinking of introducing some drums. Let's get some drums for the sound now. Then, of course, we add the snares, the uh, dancehall snares to, the, to what we have now, and record it, of course. Then we can play what we have. Uh, 
that is the snares Sounds more of a drunken beat because even my instruments, some of them are, are kind of off beat, but again, they are on the beat, so it's kind of hard to tell. But yes, just wait for, for the final thing. Uh, as I told you, it's a club instrumental, so we, have, we should be getting to the bass and the kicks in a, in a minute. Uh, the next instrument we are going to introduce is the... Is a is a is a is a is a kick, is a drum kick, like that kind of sound. So I have my kick here, it's ready. Then we're going to record it as well, just as the snares. Uh, a minute. <laughs> so now finally I have my kick drum, and uh, we should be recording it. Check it out. Yeah, you can have a listen. Uh, here you go. Oops, sorry. pretty it then I've decided to add another synth a uh, bass synth check it out And then of course we can come to the base, to the base finally uh, from Alchemy. Then we look for a good base. It usually can take some time, but um, I'm going to try and speed it up. You can check out my base. Yeah, now we record it. Uh, straight away yo much it and then after putting the bass we are going to finish up by adding the percussions or what we can call hats and toms and all that all those kinds of percussions so check check out what I have on my on my MIDI yes I'm going to record simply that let go
Yes, and now we can play what we have. Yes, I think the instrumental is done. And now what we have, what you are remaining to do is uh, simply mixing and messing it up. I think so. If I find other elements to add in, that is synths and keys and all that, I can do that. But as of now, you can call it a wrap. Mm -hmm. May you enjoy. Have a listen. My whistle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you very much for taking your time to check out how I made the beat from the simplest elements around me. Um, remember, if you want to check out the complete instrumental, it's available on my YouTube channel and website for purchase. Um, it's called My Drinks because it just sounds like getting drunk and, you know, party and kind of life. So, yes, thank you very much for taking your time to check it out. Uh, kindly hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you can get to see more of this on a daily basis. Thank you and bless up.